Hey folks, how's it going? My name is Jay and you are watching Take 2. So what is Take 2? Take 2 is a second revisit to a hi-fi product that has already been reviewed and covered by Soundstage. So the original review can be read online on soundstagehifi.com. It's written by Roger Keno on June 1st and you can find it on soundstagehifi.com or you can check the link in the description box below this video. There'll be a link for you to read the review. So make sure to check it out. In this video, we're not gonna talk too much about the technical specs and stuff like that too much. You can find that on the written review. But in this re video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the sound. We're gonna talk about my experience and some exciting stuff about the Hegel H120 units that I found. So the Hegel H120, first of all, what is it? It's an all-in-one integrated unit. It has a streamer built in. So all this means is that you can connect it to your router via an ethernet cable and you can stream. It has a DAC built in. It uses AKM DAC chip, which is a very good DAC chip. And it has a very good, good DAC integration going on inside the Hegel units. And it's a preamplifier and an amplifier that outputs 75 watts per channel into eight ohms. Now, 75 watts, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. Um, you know, especially if you're used to like 300 watt, you know, 400 watt model blocks, 75 watts really doesn't sound like a lot. However, you'll be very surprised by the fact that the Hegel units can drive really difficult to drive speakers in a lot of cases. Now, perhaps that's because it has a minimum impedance load of two ohms, so it can dip down to really, you know, difficult loads. Now, you know, one pairing that I, that comes to mind is immediately MagaPants. Now I had a fantastic experience with MagnaPants and if you know me, you know this, you know, I'm a big fan of MagnaPants speakers with Hegel units. Now if I've had, you know, tried uh, MagnaPants uh, speakers with many different amplifiers, you know, from Name, then D'Agostino, Macintosh, Krell, you name it. I've tried a lot and I've never heard the MagnaPants speakers sound better than with Hegel units. When I first hooked up the Hegel units, I was immediately blown away. You know that time where, you know, first perhaps you have an experience of this happening. You hook up a pair of speakers to an amplifier, a preamplifier, whatever component, and you find it that, you know, the sound is immediately better, like noticeably. Not, not small difference, but really, really good. It takes the speaker to a next level. That's what I found with the pairing. The MagnaPan speakers had, you know, Bass that you really wouldn't expect from a MagnaPan speaker, and you know mid range that was fuller sounding, everything spotlit, great sound stage, you know all that, while retaining the high frequency transparency that the MagnaPans are known for. So, to say that you know it's a great match would be an understatement. I really like the Hegel units with the MagnaPan speakers. Taking it further, how does it sound with dynamic drivers then? You know something with a cone, you know standard speakers like the Elac Vela 407s that I have in for review, or perhaps the Bucardas 400, some Kef speakers, Elac speakers. I've had quite a few speakers, you know, you know even, for, even from Klipsch, many speakers, you know, Focal in for review, and I had it paired up with the H120 in my man cave upstairs. And what I found was that perhaps because of the 2000 damping factor, which is, you know, a tremendous amount of damping factor uh, claimed by Hegel, it has a very good control of the woofers. Fantastic control of the woofers. If your speakers are capable, and I emphasize this, if your speakers are capable, then it will plunge down into the deep region of the bass very easily while maintaining control, texture, composure, and with really dynamic mid-bass punch. So the bass is fantastic with Hegel units with most speakers. I can vouch for that one. You can quote me on it. Now the mid-range is going to be a little bit laid back in presentation. It's gonna be smooth. And something that you would expect from perhaps a tube amplifier and not so much a solid state. It's gonna have a beautiful mid-range characteristic to it um, while being laid back, not bright at all, not in your face. And it's gonna be, everything is gonna be spotlit, big sound stage uh, than most solid states that I've tested. And the imaging is going to be very, very good. Like I said, with great separation, and spotlit instrumental soundstage. However, if you're looking for a little bit more of a sharper sound, more excitement in the mid-range, that is not Hegel. Hegel is slightly more laid back in that regard. Now, when it comes to the high frequency, the high frequency is going to be extended, lots of detail, lots of nuances, 
However, it's going to be not bright again. It's going to be slightly laid back in presentation, very easy to listen to, not gonna be in your face, not gonna be bright whatsoever, in my opinion. So how does the Heiko H120 compare to, for example, the H190 or the H90 and the 390, for example? Well, I find that the other Heiko units like the H90, H190, and the 390 uh, is a slightly more warmer characteristic of a sound than the Heiko H120. Heiko H120, in comparison, is slightly more cooler. And with that being said, like I said, none of the Heiko units are cool sounding or bright sounding. The Heiko H120 is just in comparison slightly the, you know, the most neutral out of all the Heiko integrated units that I've heard. So this is really good for you know, pairing speakers. You know, find a pair of speakers that you really like the sound of, pair it up with the Heiko H120 and you're set to go. You can hear the speakers uh, for what they are and the characteristics that your speakers are known for. Now, the Heiko H120 um, has a very pitch you know, pitch dark black background. And there's no noise in the background. And I really like that. And perhaps that's due to the Sound Engine 2 technology, which you can read more about on the actual rev uh, written review. You can read more about it and get into the technical side of things. But to explain briefly, it's kind of like a sound, you know, like a noise canceling headphone. So it has a microphone built into the headphones, right? And you know, it, it picks up the outside noise, reverses it into 180 degrees, and cancels out noise. That's how a noise canceling headphone works. And it works in a similar fashion, but no, slightly different, of course. So make sure to check out the actual written review to find out more about that if you're interested in finding out the technical side of the Sound Engine 2 technology that is available for Hegel units only. Now, with that being said, perhaps due to that, the background is pitch black. Maybe it has to do with the toroidal transformers and the chunky toroidal transformers that's used in Hegel units as well. There's nothing between the music and yourself that really helps with the spotlit you know, separation and instrumental soundstage and the imaging that is employed within your music. And what I found was that, you know, for example, I like to listen to Ella Fitzgerald, Cry Me a River, Hurt by Johnny Cash. Both of these tracks are something that I really, really like and have a deep connection emotionally. And something that I really like to listen with my eyes closed. And when I do that, I get an em immediately an emotional connection when I listen to it through the Hegel units. The background is pitch black. It is laid back, relaxing. Wow, all the details are there. The lip smack of, uh, of the singer. Uh, it's as if, you know, it gives an illusion of them being in the same space as you. And that kind of illusion is perhaps due to the dark background employed by the Sound Engine 2 technology. So I really like that about it. Now, another thing that I really like about the Hegel units is that if I lack any type of bass, right, um, I can add a rel subwoofer to it easily. Now, either using the you know high level connection or not, I can add a rel subwoofer to it, or I can add another you know, set of subwoofer to it using the pre-out. So I love the fact that the Hegel units has a pre-out and that means you can use it as a, just a preamplifier or as a source and a preamplifier by using the Hegel units. So I love that it has a pre-out. Now another thing that I used was the optical. Now I connected the optical to my, uh, to my uh, Apple TV. And so if you wanna add Apple TV, if you have Apple TV, then also you can use AirPlay, right? Because it has AirPlay, the Hegel units have AirPlay. You can connect it via AirPlay or you can use optical. If you have uh, Apple TV, you will very much appreciate that functionality. So that's one way I used it for a 2.1 or you know 5.1 setup I had in my theater system. So the Hegel um, H120 is a fantastic you know unit to start with. And if you want a system that is simple and you just want to stream, this is all you need, and a pair of speakers. That's it. However, if you want to add you know, a turntable, all you have to do is add a formal stage and a turntable, and that's it as well. So it's a very good starting point for someone who wants to expand into different ways of playing music. Also, it's a very good starting point for someone who just wants simplicity. And I'm no stickler for integrated units, okay? I like separates, and I've been taught for the longest time that separates sound better. But with Hegel units, I am very much blown away, and I am, in the belief that Hegel 
integrated units can sound better than a lot of the separates out there. With a lot of the separates out there, you have to, you know, make sure that, you know, is this amplifier sounding good with this preamplifier? You have to do some type of matching and there has to be some type of synergy matching that you have to go through and scratch your head and do the math. All that math is done for you because this is an integrated unit. The streamer, the DAC, the preamp, the amplifier, it's all built inside um, and tuned in a certain way so that it sounds good and synergistically good by the Hegel engineers. So that math is done for you. So I really like that about the Hegel units. Now, another thing that I really like is that it has a headphone output for your headphones. So I've been using, you know, my reference set of headphones that I've been using for a very long time is the Sennheiser HD 600. Now, the Sennheiser HD 600 is a very neutral headphone. And when I connect it to the Hegel H120, I get that kind of neutral characteristic, the same type of neutral characteristic that I get from pairing a pair of you know, speakers. So I really like to use it for monitoring. I use it for, you know, neutrality, um, what, what a headphone should sound like and it has plenty of power. I mean, the, the Sennheiser HD 600 is not the most difficult to drive headphones, but it is a 300 ohm headphone and it drives it fantastically with no problem whatsoever. I never had to crank it up, uh, you know, past 40 on this unit for the headphone section. Now, once you do plug in the headphone section, the output from the speaker section is automatically disconnected so that you don't have to worry about your, your, you know, your speakers playing at the same time you're wearing an open back set of headphones. So that is also a very good, well thought out design. So overall, the Hegel units are a very well designed, very well thought out units that sound really good and it's really good for people that want a simple system that can punch above its weight. And you know, I have a lot of people asking me, you know, am I sacrificing you know, this and that if I you know, go from separates to an integrated unit? With Hegel, in a lot of cases, going from separates to an integrated unit like the Hegel, you know, is an upgrade in my opinion, depending on what you have, of course. So there you have it. Really like the Hegel H120 and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>